In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how we can fine tune the profile operation when cutting sharp corners. Now this technique I'm going to show you can be applied to standard end mills, bullnose end mills, chamfer tools, taper tools. It all works the exact same way. But what we're going to do is we're going to focus on sharp corners. Now if I hit the spacebar twice, and let's zoom in on this sharp corner right here. You can see I'm using a profile operation to cut this chamfer, but if I click on the profile operation, you can see by default how the tool is performing a circular cut around the sharp corner. Now, having said that, the tool is always going to be tangent as it makes this circular cut, so the end result is still going to be a sharp corner, but maybe you don't want the tool to do that. Maybe you wouldn't like the tool to perform a circular cut on all the sharp corners. And if I were to zoom in on another sharp corner here, if we take a look, you can see the same thing has happened here. In fact, it's really happening on every single sharp corner. So how can we stop that from happening? Well, it's very simple. Let me demonstrate. What we're going to do is we're going to edit our operation, going to right hand mouse click, and I'm going to select this option called Repick Path. What that's going to do is allow me to select the geometry in segments. In fact, each segment of geometry that I select is going to begin with a sharp corner. I'm going to start here. I'm going to climb cut. And notice how I'm starting at a sharp corner. I'm going to climb cut and I'm going to go all the way to here. All right. And then I'm going to right hand mouse click. Now my cursor changes to the word start. Again, I'm starting at the next sharp corner. So I'm going to click. I'm going to choose my direction, which is going to be a climb cut. And I'm going to stop it right here and then right hand mouse click. My cursor changes to the word start. So now I'm starting at the next sharp corner. So I'm going to left click here select my direction. We can cut this all the way to here, so I'm going to left click and then right hand mouse click. When we're done, we'll right hand mouse click one more time. Now we're almost there. Our lead in and lead out parameters need to be changed, so let's quickly edit our operation. I'm going to right hand mouse click. Let's go to edit operation and all I'm doing here is I'm just going to edit the lead in and lead out parameters. You can see that we're using a tool that has a diameter of a half inch. Let's click next. We're going to go all the way to the end here. And for our lead in style, I'm going to change this to line. All right. For the lead in angle, make sure it's set to zero and make sure that this lead in length is equal to or more than the actual radius of the tool. So I have 250 thousands there. I'm going to click the little arrows here so that the exit values equal our entry values. So we're going to enter and exit using the same parameters. Remember, keep your lead in angle set to zero and your length equal to or more than the radius of the tool. So we'll click finish on that. What we've done is we've told one CNC not to use a rounding or circular cut on the sharp corners. In fact, let's preview this. I'm going to right hand mouse click. Let's go to preview toolpath. And I'm going to hit the space bar twice to go to a top view here. And let's hide the tool holder. And let's see what happens when we come to this sharp corner in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And let's speed up the preview. All right, so the tool is going to go past. It's going to wrap it up, wrap it over, and then approach again. So instead of making a round move, we've gone past and we're starting before. And we've done that on every sharp corner. So the technique is to break your selection when you're selecting the geometry, break that up into individual selections and make sure each selection starts at a corner. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.